Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I wanted to come on here really quick um, while I still have a quiet moment to myself to share a uh, quick thought that I've had. Um, I actually put up a um, blog post last night um, that started some of this conversation. I'm going to continue that um, thought today in today's blog post. For those of you who don't know, I'm Andrea St. Louis. I do write the blog Step In To Purpose. That's step in the number two purpose.com. Um, and so I, I'm glad that you've come and you've joined me um, to step into purpose with me. Um, I am still on a 40 day journey um, of decluttering my life. I'm becoming 40 days lighter. And so um, many of my reflections during this time are related to that journey. And so the thought I wanted to share today um, is just simply titled, something's got to intensify. Something's got to intensify. And so as I've been on this journey, um, part of my journey has been to um, get healthy, to eat properly, to lose weight, um, you know, get a good exercise routine going. Um, and so as I've been trying to do those things, I've made a few observations. Um, for one, I keep getting told by my coach, by my workout partner, you know, all over the place, you have to build muscle in order to burn fat. Build muscle, burn fat. Build muscle, burn fat. And I, you know, it's getting drilled into my head now. And so now when I'm exercising, I'm thinking to myself, I got to keep going. It's uncomfortable, but I got to build this muscle so I can burn the fat. And um, it's been an incredible journey. Um, and so one of the things that I've been thinking about is um, what does fat look like, right? Um, I look at my weight. And as far as my weight goes, um, I know that there are parts of me that I'd like to be a little more toned. I've had two kids, you know, life has happened. My diet hasn't been great in the past. But over this last six weeks, I found out that my body is capable of far more than I've actually given it credit for. Um, and so in order to really achieve the weight loss, fitness, the strength goals that I have for myself, um, like I said, I've been told, build muscle, burn fat. In order to do that though, I realized that I need to be doing intense enough exercises to strengthen my muscles, to help them work harder and faster, um, in order to help them burn that fat, even when I'm not actively working out. And this spoke volumes to me um, because I think sometimes about our lives and if I'm talking about decluttering my life, um, Right now, I'm trying to strengthen the good habits that I need to have, whether that is my practice of prayer, um, fasting, spending time with God, spending time with his word, um, being present with my family, um, making time to write every day, because I believe that one of my calls is to be a writer. Um, or if it's just a matter of being diligent about the responsibilities that I have, the things that I'm committed to do, being committed to pursuing my passion, because sometimes we can get really caught up in being busy and not actually fulfilling the reason why we're here on earth. And so I'm strengthening those muscles that I need to take me and to take my family to where I believe God is calling us in life. But in order to um, do, as we're doing that, as we're building those muscles, strengthening those good habits, those good practices, solidifying a good routine, I'm realizing that I have to burn fat as well in my life. What is the fat? The fat is the, the stuff that doesn't matter, the stuff that keeps us bound, keeps us in doubt, keeps us in fear. Um, we have to put aside those feelings of I can't do this because before I started this journey to health um, I didn't think I could change my diet this way it was just seemed too strict to you know not eat sweets every day how ridiculous but true um, I didn't think that I could go for a run that I could push past the discomfort in my muscles the um, achiness after a workout. I didn't know that I could push through those things until I did it. And one of the things I found out, so my workout partner, she likes to run. And so the goal, the ultimate goal is for us to run a 5k. But when that first day when we got in the gym, I had one goal. She asked for the 30 minutes that I'm on the treadmill, 
even though I'm planning to speed walk. She wants me to run for one solid minute. One solid minute. And I know that sounds crazy, but that was hard. I struggled. But then I found after a week, I could do the one solid minute. So we pushed it to three minutes. And now I've hit the three solid minutes of running. And now my goal is five minutes. And so we're going to keep working our way up until I can actually run a 5K, which again is going to be amazing to me because it's something that I've never thought that I could do. But I've realized that in order to get to those goals, there has to be that progressive intensification that had that something's got to intensify because otherwise my weight loss is going to plateau. My strength development is going to plateau. My endurance when running is going to plateau. If I do the exact same thing that I was doing on day one, the closer I get to my goal, whether it's the distance I want to run, the weight I want to be, or the strength that I want to have, something's got to intensify. And I know that's poor English, but I'm doing it on purpose. Something's got to intensify. Sometimes we go through life and we get so stuck, so hung up, so discouraged by the fact that as we progress towards our goal, as we move forward towards our goals, towards our dreams, towards our visions, life can get really intense. We get really disheartened that as we get to a new level, it's almost like there's a new challenge waiting there to meet us. We go from faith to faith and glory to glory, but there's test to test as well. Um, and so we get really discouraged by that. And I thought about it and I said, God, sometimes it feels like the fire is just getting hotter in this furnace, you know, like the three Hebrew boys. Or the pressure just seems to be increasing. Sometimes it feels like there are more people who are against me than there are for me, which we know is never really true because if God is for us, who can be against us? But sometimes life makes us feel like the harder we push forward is the harder our obstacles push back. But I'm here to encourage you. Something's got to intensify. And when you feel the fire getting hotter, when you feel the pressure getting greater, know that you are closer to your goal than you could even imagine. This is not the time to slack off. It's not the time to give up. I, my, co you know, God is sitting there like my workout partner or my coach saying, Andrea, you can do one more rep. You can do one more set. Keep going. Keep going. You've got this. God is there telling you that you can push forward because you are closer than you think. Now is not the time to give up or fall back. Now is the time to keep pushing. Like a woman in labor with a baby, the labor's got to intensify. I know what it's like to have labor for 24 hours that just didn't intensify, that didn't increase. And so I ended up having to have a C-section because I couldn't deliver my baby on my own. But some of us, God is saying, I can't, I don't want to do this one for you because I need you to be stronger. I need you to push. Because when you have successfully um, my name is Andrea St. Louis, and I write the blog stepintopurpose.com. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, but when you get to that point and you realize that I have pushed and I have accomplished and I have given birth to this baby, to this dream, to this vision that I've had, whether it is a company, whether it is a financial goal you're trying to meet, an academic goal you're trying to meet, a professional goal you're trying to meet, you'll realize that you are much stronger than you thought you were, just like I've realized in my time in the gym. And so I won't keep you much longer. I just wanted to share that thought with you very quickly. To my replay vi viewers, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry I didn't greet you earlier. Um, make sure to give me some hearts um, and let me know how you're pushing through. Something's got to intensify. Don't be afraid of the pressure. It just means you're really close to your goal. Have a great day. Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate you being here.